In this video, you will get introduced to Z Shell or in short ZSH. I will be talking about the different applications and advantages of ZSH over Bash. Also, I will answer the common question that is, which one is better to use, Bash or ZSH? So let us begin. Before talking about Z Shell, I will explain how it was developed, which obviously started with Bash. As previously said, Bash is the default shell for most Unix-based systems. It is a widely used scripting language that is used for task automation and system administration. It provides high portability across different Unix-based systems, having a less startup time and simple syntax and command structures. Also, it provides high job control capabilities and tools for debugging and error handling. Now, ZSH was invented after Bash with a motivation to improve the features of Bash. Later, it became the default shell program for Mac OS version 10.15 and later. For your information, ZSH has advanced features like arrays, associative arrays, and advanced control structures, which Bash lacks. In the next section, I will be describing in details the differences between Bash and ZSH. The differences between Bash and ZSH can be argued upon different evaluation metrics. First, I will be differentiating them based on shell configuration and startup files. For your information, Bash was released as a replacement for the bone shell, whereas ZSH is developed as an extended version of Bash having new features. Bash is default on most Unix-based systems including Linux, whereas ZSH is not set as default, but it can be done so using different commands. Also, Bash does not contain many environment scripts, whereas ZSH has a lot of environment scripts including zlogin, zlogout, and so on. Next, I will be differentiating them based on command line interface features. Bash uses the backslash as an escape character, whereas ZSH uses the percentage. Theme customization is not available in Bash, whereas you can customize themes in ZSH. Spelling correction an important feature is not supported in Bash, whereas ZSH identifies spelling mistakes and suggests correction. Basic history management features are available in Bash, whereas in ZSH, the history management features are more advanced like searching and editing previous commands that were used. Now I will be differentiating them based on plugin and module ecosystem. Bash does not support new plugins, that is, it does not allow you to import new plugins or modules in the system, whereas in ZSH, different plugins or modules can be imported. Another advantage of ZSH is it has a modular architecture that is it can adapt to new features or new fe basically new features can be added to the pre-existing architecture, whereas in Bash, it cannot be done as it is a non-modular architecture. Last, I will be differentiating them based on performance and efficiency. Bash has a faster startup time, whereas ZSH takes time to load. There is no execution priority for commands in Bash, whereas you can set a priority for different commands in ZSH. As I have already described the differences between Bash and ZSH, I will leave you here to decide on which one is better to use. Although ZSH have better performances and advanced features, Bash is widely used from the very beginning starting from beginners to advanced learners. From a beginner's perspective, Bash is very easy to learn and it has already gained a lot of acceptance in the programming community. So it would be wise to start with Bash. That was all for today. Thank you for watching.